I'm Wes, and today I'll be rapping A House is a House for Me by Mary Ann Hoberman. A hill is a house for an ant, an ant, a hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse, and a house is a house for me. A web is a house for a spider. A bird builds its nest in a tree. There is nothing so snug as a bug and a rug, and a house is a house for me. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A sty, that's a house for a sow. A fold, that's where sheep all gather to sleep. A barn, that's a house for a cow. A kennel's a house for a dog. A dog, a dog is a house for a flea. Well, when a dog strays, a flea sometimes stays, and then it may move in on me. Houses for rabbits are hutches. A house for a mule is a shed. A castle's a house for a duchess. A bed bug beds down a bed. Mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. Whales need an ocean to sea. A fish or a snake make do with the lake, but a house is a house for me. A shell is a dwelling for a shellfish, for oysters and lobsters and clams. Each snail is a shell and each turtle is well, but not any lions or lambs. Lions live out in the open. Monkeys live up in a tree. Hippos live down in a river. Now what do you know about me? An igloo's a house for an Eskimo. A teepee's a house for a Cree. A Pueblo's a house for a Hopi. A wigwam may hold a mohi. A garage is a house for a car or a truck And a hangar's a house for a plane A dock or a slip is a house for a ship And a terminal's a house for a train A husk is a house for a corn ear A pod is a place for a pea A nutshell's a hut for a hickory nut But what is a shelter for me? A glove is a house for a hand A hand, a stocking's a house for a knee A shoe or a boot is a house for a foot And a house is a house for me a house for me, yo. A box is a house for a tea bag. A teapot's a house for some tea. If you pour me a cup and I drink it all up, then the tea house will turn into me. Cartons are houses for crackers. Castles are houses for kings. The more that I think about houses, the more things are houses for things. And if you get started in thinking, I think you will find it is true that the more you think about houses for things, the more things are houses for you. Barrels are houses for pickles. Bottles are houses for jam. A pot is a house for potatoes. A sandwich is home for some ham. Yeah. The cookie jar's home to the cookies. The bread box is home to the bread. My coat is a house for my body. My hat is a house for my head. Perhaps I have started far-fetching. Perhaps I am stretching things some. A mirror is a house for reflections. A throat is a house for a hmm. But once you get started in thinking, you think and you think and you think how pockets are houses for pennies and pens can be houses for ink. How peaches are houses for peach bits And sometimes are houses for worms How trash cans are houses for garbage And garbage makes houses for germs And envelopes in mugs and eggshells And bathrobes and baskets and bins Rag bags and rubbers and roasters And tablecloths, toasters and tins And once you get started in thinking this way It seems that whatever you see Is either a house or it lives in a house And a house is a house for me A book is a house for a story. A rose is a house for a smell. My head is a house for a secret. A secret I will never tell. A flower's at home in a garden. A donkey's at home in a stall. Each creature that's known has a house of its own. And the earth is a house for us all. A house. A house is a house for me. by Marianne Halberman.
want to give a major shout out to my Patreon subscriber, Chrono, for putting me onto this wonderful piece of literature. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.